Hey guys, Jordan here, and I'm coming at you now with a review of a really good product in my opinion. I'm going to start off by saying it's a really good product, uh, but hopefully by watching this review you'll see why it's something that I believe is a very good product. So, this is the HTDZ HT81 Professional Condenser Shotgun Microphone, and included in the box is the microphone itself, a wind filter, you also get a cable, a mount to put it on top of a hot shoe of your camera and the cable is pretty long and it includes a 6.3mm to 3.5mm jack adapter and I don't tend to use this cable unless I've got an actual sound guy who's using it on a boom but other than that I actually bought like a shorter cable that it fits my needs a lot better it's about 30 centimeter long cable that I use just for when you've got it mounted to the camera it's a lot nicer to use a shorter cable so moving on to the build of the mic it's made pretty much entirely out of aluminium it does feel really really sturdy really really high quality and obviously you have that foam windshield that slips over the top the power switch gives you three options so you have off you have on and then you have long range or basically it just adds a bit of amplification onto the microphone so i believe it's minus 45 decibels for the short distance and minus 38 decibels for the long distance gain on that so it does sort of just really boost the signal going into the camera and uh, make it a bit louder when you have to change the batteries in this because this is a battery powered microphone you have to change it by using AA batteries and it just takes one of these and you unscrew it, slot it in the back and it's nice and done. So this does tend to chew through batteries if you leave it on. Um, it can run down quite often so you do have to remember to turn it off. Also use decent quality batteries, not just standard alkalines. I actually use the Duracell lithium power batteries because these just give a much much longer life in it and don't run out as, as often. And if you are using a battery in it and the battery is a bit low, you do get a bit of a buzzing noise coming into the microphone, which is not fantastic. So it is always important to make sure you do have a well-charged battery in there. Now, the volume of the microphone, when plugged into a Canon 600D on sort of like the ideal preamp settings for that, isn't too loud. Uh, you will need to either rely on amplification in post or a better option is to use an external amplifier just to improve the sound quality coming into the camera. Using it on my Panasonic G7 with much better preamps, you can actually leave that on auto gain within the camera, results in a really nice clean audio and a really decent volume because the preamps are automatically working out, so it all goes really, really nicely. So to conclude, this microphone is really, really good for the price. I mean, it's £16 in the UK or £17 in the UK and $25 in the US on Amazon and you, you can't beat that sort of price and get this sort of quality. I mean. If you haven't already realised, this entire review has actually been recorded, uh, all the audio in this review has been recorded on this microphone. So that's the sort of quality you can really get out of this microphone, so it is really, really versatile and actually does produce a high enough quality of sound. I mean, if I'd have asked you beforehand, would you have guessed that this had come out of a £17 microphone? I think probably not, so I think that's the, the proof is in the pudding really. So uh, yeah, I've left the links for both Amazon US and Amazon UK below to pick up this microphone. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, rate and comment and goodbye.